Hey everyone, Ryan here, and welcome back to our Head and Neck Anatomy series. This video will be about the soft palate muscles. So the muscles of the soft palate are innervated by cranial nerve V3 and cranial nerve 10. The five muscles we'll talk about in this video are the palatopharyngeus, musculus uvulae, the tensor veli palatini, the levator veli palatini, and the salpingopharyngeus muscle. So the palatopharyngeus muscle originates from the palatine aponeurosis, which is the same place that the palatoglossus muscle originated from. It's also innervated by the same cranial nerve as the palatoglossus muscle, which is cranial nerve 10. It inserts into the upper border of the thyroid cartilage, as well as the lateral pharyngeal wall, hence the name palatopharyngeus. The action is to pull the pharynx and the larynx upwards. So this muscle I'm pointing to back here is located behind, just behind the palatine tonsil, and it forms the palatopharyngeal arch, which is the posterior pillar of the fauces, and they're just posterior to the palatine tonsil and marks the beginning of the pharynx. The video, uh, the last video, we talked about the palatoglossus muscle, which I just mentioned before. That one was just in front of the palatine tonsil, forms the anterior pillar of the fauces. All right, next we have the musculus uvulae. This one originates also from the palatine aponeurosis, and it inserts into the uvula. The action is to shorten and broaden the uvula during uh, swallowing to help close the nasopharynx. This one also innervated by cranial nerve 10. Next we have the tensor veli palatini, and this is a really, really important muscle, and it definitely appears on the board exam all the time. This one's an exception, it's innervated by cranial nerve V3, and it originates from the scaphoid fossa and the cartilaginous part of the auditory tube, which you can see right here. It inserts into the palatine aponeurosis, and the action is what really informs the name. It tenses the soft palate. It's also responsible for opening the auditory tube to equalize air pressure between the middle ear and the nasopharynx, which are the two regions that the auditory tube connects. So if you're ever driving or you're hiking and you're changing elevation, you might notice that your ears are popping or you feel that pressure building up uh, within your head. And so you can yawn or swallow or kind of uh, pinch your nose and gently push out to equalize that air pressure. The tensor veli palatini is what is doing that action. So two more important things to know. Its tendon hooks around the pterygoid hamulus. So that's something that can be asked on the board exam. And the tensor veli palatini muscle itself, the right and left ones join across the soft palate to form this sheet where other muscles insert into called the palatine aponeurosis. So that is the muscle that's responsible for forming that sheet of tissue. Next, we have the levator veli palatini, not to be confused with the tensor veli palatini. And this one, like all of the other soft palate muscles, are innervated by cranial nerve 10. The tensor veli palatini was the one exception. So this one's going to originate from the petrous part of the temporal bone, as well as that cartilaginous part of the auditory tube sticking out here. And it's going to insert into, again, the palatine aponeurosis. And the action is once again going to be what informs the name. It elevates the soft palate in order to close off the nasopharynx during swallowing. And lastly, we have the salpingopharyngeus muscle. This is a really thin muscle that originates from the cartilaginous part of the auditory tube, and it inserts into the upper border of the thyroid cartilage and the lateral pharyngeal wall. Salpingo refers to the eustachian or auditory tube, and pharyngeus referring to where it inserts. The action is to also help the tensor veli palatini in equalizing air pressure via action at the auditory tube. All right, so that's it for this short video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. 
please consider liking this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for much more on dentistry. If you're interested in supporting me and what I do here, uh, check out my Patreon page. Thank you to all of my patrons here for all of their support. You can unlock things like access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions and explanations for the board exams. So go check that out. The link will be in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.